Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a video on all my different stoves that I own. So hopefully this video will kind of help you if you're deciding to choose a stove or buy another one or something like that and you've got a rough idea of the range of stoves that you can buy. I've got like all kind of different ones, there's no really similar makes, models. So the first stove that I'm going to go through is the Little Bug Junior Camping Stove. So as you can see that was a pretty quick process, all I had to do is just fit it together so it all comes in separates so it can fold away nice and small and compact so it weighs hardly anything so it's great for backpacking or when you're going really lightweight and it's designed in a kind of curved way so it can fit round your sleeping bag or your sleeping mat when you pack it into your rucksack so it can just it's a nice slim fit it's durable it's made out of stainless steel it has a cooking platform and it also what's great about the cooking platform is that you can have it in two settings either in the middle like I've set it now or right at the top so depending on whether you're using flames like fire to boil water or cook something or if you're using an alcohol stove. So along here you can see it's got some air holes. That's great when you've got fire, you've got some oxygen flowing in. And in this shot you can see, you can see clearly how it's got two settings when it comes to fixing the platform so you've got the setting here and the setting at the top this doesn't have a base so I'm just gonna kind of clear the ground a little bit more So my next stove is the Swiss Army Volcano Ranger Stove. This isn't the cover that it comes with, it's a jack pipe cover and it fits really snug in there. So this is the kit that comes with the Volcano Stove, it comes with a nice bottle and a cup. What's great is both the bottle and the cup fit inside of the volcano stove. It's very easy to set up. So all you've got to do is slot in this handle so you can move the stove around. So that's also a benefit. When the stove's really hot, you can still be able to transport it. Comes with a base in there. So it keeps keeps it all contained and off the ground in case you're in really dry areas. So the cons of the stoves is the cup comes very hot to drink out of. You've got to wait a long time for it to cool down and make it easy to drink from. So 
with this cup you can't have the fire too high you have to make sure that all the sticks have gone to coals before you can put the cup on and you can still move this around which is really nice with this little handle so you can face it towards the wind Next I have the Wild Camping International Titanium Stove. So as you can see it is packed down very very small. So this can be easily packed into a little pocket like the roof of your backpack or down a side pocket. It is very thin and easy to pack away. So that is the stove set up. I would say out of all of them that takes the longest to set up. Um, it can take a few times to kind of get used to how to figure out how to set it up. But that is worth it because of it, how compact it is to fit in that tiny bag. It's made of, out of titanium. So it's perfect for hiking and when you're doing lightweight trips. It's very, very compact. It's got a hole, a wide hole at the front to feed fuel. It can burn wood and it can have a stove at the bottom there. It has a cooking platform at the top and it has air holes for oxygen to keep it burning. At the bottom there it has a little griddle so it's off the floor. Next on my list is the Kelly Kettle Scout. When you buy this, it comes in three different sizes. So you can buy the Scout, which is this one, and this holds 1.2 litres. You can get the Base Camp, which holds 1.6 litres, or you could get the Trekker, which only holds 0.6 litres. So it depends how many people you're going with, on, depending on the size or how much water you've got to boil. It's a very, very quick boil. It's really good. It heats up really quick. And obviously the water is right next to where the heat is coming out of. So that that's a really efficient. It's made out of stainless steel, so it's really hard wearing. And a really good feature that none of these really have is that you can boil water and cook at the same time so the water is in that front hole and you can when you buy the kit I think it comes with a little attachment where you can still cook food at the top there so the cons of this are pretty obvious it's very bulky it's heavy and it's not compact so it's not ideal for backpacking if you're going a long way or you can't carry much weight it's really good for camping trips car camping if you're just walking to base camp it's mainly for that use but if you can carry a lot of weight and you're not going on a very long hike then it's ideal 
working. It's really easy to use and it's really safe. We used, used to use one of these at forest school with the kids and um, it's just really nice and very interesting for people to watch and sit around. Next one is your good old stove, so your gas stove. So this is really easy when you've been on a long hike or you've had a busy day, it's so easy to set up and quick to use. So this is a preferred option for a lot of people. So that is very quick and easy, comes with a nice snug little bag. It's a quick boil and it's easy so you can just leave something on there, you don't have to bother with checking on if the fire's gone out or if it's dying. But the negative is once you've run out of fuel it's classed as useless unless you buy another canister of fuel. So last but not least is the Pathfinder alcohol stove. So as you can see it is tiny and um, that is a real benefit. quick burning, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up, it's compact and it can be used inside a tent festival. So once you run out of the alcohol fuel then it's classed as useless until you get any more. So overall I think they are all great stoves and there's horses for courses, they're all good for different things and I think it's good to have one or two stoves just for different things that you're aiming to do with them. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully it's given you a rough idea on all of the stoves I own and stoves that you can go out and buy. So thank you for watching, thank you to all my subscribers and to all my patrons. I will list them all at the end of this video. So thank you for watching.